Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of My Darkness Falls for Alpha 20 series. It is the morning of day 31, just about. Sun hasn't quite risen yet, moon's kind of just going down. Uh, we had a big battle out here last night with the uh, wandering horde that we left behind yesterday. That's the house we got to go to today to retrieve the supplies. There should be no problem doing that. Last night I had to burn through a few first aid bandages to get my health back up. Our wellness was down a little bit, but that's fine. We'll get that back up, no problem. Um, so I was able to go around, find some aloe out in the desert, made three more bandages, got them back. Um, so we're still pretty good. Shotgun ammo's good. Everything is not bad. The bike is full of stuff right now. So if we go and have a look. Well, almost full. We might as well just throw a couple of other things in there. What are we not going to get out of this house next door? Uh, I'm going to say that. I'm going to say that and that. I was uh, hit a few boulders last night. Got a little bit of oil shale, not a lot. Couldn't find any um, lead around, so I wasn't able to pick up any lead. But that's fine. So uh, we got a few skill points to spend. So we got six points. We're level 64 now. I had to check that last episode. Never ended up doing that, but we're level 64. So if we have a look at skills, I kind of already have an idea where I want to spend them. So if we go to our first row of stuff here. If we go down to the bottom, I want to max out Boomstick, get it to the full potential it can be. Then I want to go to Quality Joe because we can get another level of this. This will give us an extra 80 to loot bonus. Right? Which is going to be nice to get better gear. Actually, can we, we can go all the way. Increases loot level by 100. Let's do it. We want to go Miner 69er. Max out that. Uh, our blade of weapons is almost completely maxed out, which is pretty nice. And we got two points left. I wanted to go one into coil weapons. Can't get the next one to level 75. Then what was the other one I wanted to do? Oh, better barter. Yeah, I wanted to do salvage operations as well, but I think better barter is probably a, the best thing to go with it. Secret stash showing better loot. Jen might actually give us a laser workbench. But that's going to be pricey, but, you know, uh, hopefully we can get that from her. And if I don't kill you, you're going to wander over to that house and come in behind me. So let's just take care of you. Yeah. You die. All right, let's get over to this house and get this quest done for uh, Eve here. Wow, this is like a tiny cabin. I'm going to grab these while we're here. Just because. And I'm going to grab them first before we set it off because... They might respawn. Anything around back? Don't think so. Just a few trees. Whole lot of nothing back here. Ooh, some rice. Oh, hello. Actually, um, uh, crap, we need four on us. Okay. Gas, put you in there. Yeah, the yellow came back. And the corn came back. And that corn came back. So this must be a wider POI than what I thought. Did the rice come back? It did. Grab that. And I thought there was... Two aloe? Was that a bird that was up there? Oh, come on. I don't know if that's, that's... Might be part of the POI. It doesn't really matter, though, because we don't have to kill zombies. We just got to uh, retrieve the supplies. <laughs> Grabbing that, though. All right, let's get in this place. So this one's a pretty simple one. There's, like... Um, there's a uh, main kitchen up here. Then there's, like, a basement and a small upper floor. It's in the basement we want to go. Is it just you up here? I think it is. I think it is. Okay, we can scrap you. Take that for the die. Let's get this sucker done. A rat under the stairs. I 
Anybody else? That can't be it. Oh, we got this deaf motherfucker right here. Well, that was fast. Hey, you got some steel too. Nice. Alright, let's just grab this stuff. Now, we shouldn't get a wandering horde this early, but I wouldn't put it past the game to, to screw me. Oh, cool. Nice to get our bandage back from yesterday. There's the stuff we want. Excellent. Now, let's go ahead and grab some stuff out of here. Take this apart. Parts is parts. Grab you. What's in here? Ooh, another first aid bandage. Okay, nothing. Now let's go ahead and break this open. Can't remember how I left the door open. I think I did. Thought I heard the dog, the dog growling to come down here. That's not bad. Take that. Nothing here. Well, we got the main loot, so... Don't see any reason to stay. Let's close this door. Let's just loot the rest of the stuff here. The parts, see if we can get anything out of the desk. Some brass. Maybe a bit of brass is going to count in the end. Oh. Three less we need for the mastery book. Nice that we already got that started, though. For ones I don't really want to master out. I guess we could master security. It's probably the best one to do. Uh, cheese. Mmm, I'm gonna scrap it. I'm only scrapping it because eventually we're just gonna be able to make it anyway. Actually, I don't need you, but the black die I will definitely take. Uh, let's just scrap that. Dog food I think we can use for learning elixir, if I'm not mistaken. Because if you want to learn something, the best way to do it is by eating dog food. If you didn't know that, now you do. Alright. Break that up. We need the leather. We got leather on us. We might as well just take it. Alright. Where's this dog? We got to get our rifle skill up, so let's do that. There you are. Ooh! Talk about high-powered rifle. Holy crap. All right. Uh, let's get back to Eve and turn this in. So there's a big oil shale deposit just over there. I marked it on the map, so next time we're out here, Here's we can go I ahead have. and do that. All right. Now, what do you got for me? Ah, fuck. Well, let's take that to see if we can stem our infection. Well, we might as well take that. I mean, sure. The reward. Now, that's how far? Six kilometers. There it is there. Wait, what's the... West and south. I don't know if that's... Shit. I think that's in the snow. The best way to get to the the snow is to go through here. That's the shortest route through the wasteland into the uh, snow biome. So, we're not going to be doing that anytime soon. Well, within the next few days, anyway. We will be doing it, but just not right away. Might as well just take this stuff. So at least we have it on the map now. When we get a moment, we can just quickly dart down there and do that. Ah, man, I don't know. I feel good about getting that done, though. Alright, now we need to mine. I need to find... We need to find lead. So let's go do that.
I'm just going to start hitting up boulders. Oil shale, oil shale. Some rice, we'll take that. Yeah, uh, somewhere along here we're going to find uh, lead. I'm hoping the lead is, like, right beside some oil shale. I'm sure it will be. That's iron. Yeah, damn it. Oh yeah, we said we were going to try and use this. Doesn't always work. Nope. We have lots of um, stuff at home. I'm not worried about it. Alright, what do you got? Probably all that for oil shale, right? Oh, iron. Iron, well... I can always use some iron. Grab that. There's another one over there. Two over here. Three over here. Oh, fuck off. God, I'm terrible. I can't even pick that up. Come on, focus on what you're doing. Let's do this. Oil shale. Oil shale. Come on, be led. Fucking oil shale. Might as well grab a little extra. Um, okay, I guess we keep going this way. Oh, two more over here. Three more over here. Dog over here. Hey, doggy. Yeah, bring it. Bring it. Gotta pass up that free meat. Let's kill these two. Oh, this one, I guess. You got that one? Ah, I beat you to it. Oil shale. 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 How friggin' rare is lead? I just want a little bit of lead. It's all I really ever needed. Nope. 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 <sighs> Two here. That bird coming he is. Taking your time, but that's okay. Gotta get some skill up in the rifle anyway. I heard a dog barking. It's the dog outside. I thought it was a, a uh, coyote. Nothing there. Well, that's iron. Well, I might as well grab a bit of iron. Little iron never hurt anybody. Unless, of course, you got it lodged in your head. Then it probably does hurt. Why am I not finding any lead? Jesus Christ, just something, anything. Do you think one of these boulders, like I understand there being lots of oil shale in the desert, but you'd think one of these boulders would have given me lead by now? Park the bike in the tree shade here. I'm mining some birds. Find more lead in birds than I do in the friggin' desert. Nothing. Yeah, so when I was talking about my, uh, the graduated, um, uh, map where the, uh, you know, the desert and the, uh, like, and the greens and stuff, like, that's the kind of thing I'm talking about where you've got these little pockets of trees and stuff sitting out in the open, like, in the desert, but, like, much smaller than that, right? So, the trees, regular trees mix with, like, um, the pine, like the, uh, coconut trees and all that kind of stuff. So even the, the look doesn't change instantly, right? You've got, like, desert stuff inter interspersed with, uh, green. It's pretty cool. I should probably, I, I mean, I should probably do a, uh, video on, like, how I built it, but, like, it's really not my, like, I didn't come up with it. I just copy what other YouTubers have, have posted. So it's like, 
I just took it to a different level because I know I've got Photoshop and I can. Whereas other people were using GIMP and stuff, it's like I've never used GIMP and I'm assuming it's very similar to Photoshop, but Photoshop's got so many more um, well, I don't know. I was going to say more brushes and stuff, but there might be a lot of brushes and stuff available for GIMP as well. For fuck's sakes, why is there no uh, lead? I'm glad I've got a day off to be able to spend the entire day looking for fucking lead. What about you guys? You guys see any lead? Give me an iron and a lead mine. Hey, guess what I got? I got a Winchester rifle that's going to take your head off and a fucking short temper because I can't find any goddamn fucking lead. I'm going to break these apart, though. Why are they disappearing? Like, what the fuck? I break one and the other one disappears. I've had that happen with corn in the, uh, in the, um, cracker book. There's one spot of the cracker book where there's two corn. You grab, you grab one of them and the other one disappears with it. But you don't get two. You only get one. So I don't know whether it's a, uh, an error or maybe one of the boulders is overhanging the, um, the square next to it. And then when one disappears, it just assumes that it's both of them and it just disappears. I don't know. I'm going to keep doing this and destroying the boulders because we're getting oil shale for it, getting stone for it. And at least when I go looking again, probably to try and find more oil shale or more um, lead, at least I'll know that it's not here. Ah, desert storm. Fuck. Here you, you got a bag for me? Yeah, nothing. There was. This is gonna make it real easy to find boulders, eh? Come to the desert, they say. You can find lead here, they say. Come for the lead, stay for the friggin' sandstorms. Nope, oil shell. Well, every three blo blocks like that gives me a couple of thousand gas, so I can't complain. I mean, I can, and I'm really good at it. But I mean, I shouldn't complain. Man, I don't want to go all the way back up north. I heard a bird. There you are. Where's the dingo? Survive one, but you ain't gonna survive two. I don't feel like walking over to you, so... There we go. Now can I check this boulder, please? Oh yeah, right. Oil shale. Because if it wasn't oil shale, you'd be hearing me screaming on how well I've... Like, how good it was to find it, finally. Our boulder here. You know what the, the vultures in the desert remind me of here? I don't know if you guys ever played the original Morrowind game. There is, like, when you would go from south to north along these, like, uh, volcanic um, flow beds, I guess. There's, like, mountains on either side. You'd be attacked by these cliff racers, like, all the time, constantly. You couldn't go from the south to the north without getting attacked by five, six, seven of them. One after the other, after the other, after the other. And then finally someone came up with a mod, like, left, less Chris cliff racers. Oh, you... So, um... Oh, fuck, still nothing. I know it's in the desert. You know what? I thought there was, like, icons that showed you. I don't know what these are. 
go over there. Because I know in the green biome... Hey, you're dead. In the green biome, you have black, brown, and white icons. The white is for nitrate, black is for coal, obviously, and then there, the uh, brown is for... Um, is for iron. But I don't know what it is in the desert. And this was not even marked on the map, so... I don't even know. Maybe these are lead? I'll be so happy if they are. We've got one or two of you guys coming. Damn it. Wish my hands are better. Alright, let's find out. Nope. Two more over there. Should get two birds on us. Three more over here. Alright, not deciding to come down. Interested to see. Yeah, see, that last one disappeared. So bizarre. So I guess that um, icon is not anything. Where is that dog? There you are. Oh! Scares the man, it gets the rifle. Thanks for helping out, Chubby. Thanks for helping out, Chummy. Didn't mean to say Chubby. I meant, meant, meant to say Chummy. Whoa. Where are you? I see you. Bring it in. You ain't got the juice. What was this? Did we see what this was yet? Yeah. Big surprise. It's bing oil shell. I should call this episode Oil Shale. Uh, where's that other dog? It was right here. He was right here. At least I thought he was. When you shoot him, you can fly a thousand miles, so I have no idea. Alright, what are you? So that probably means oil shale then. So our mine was like over here. <sighs> that was primarily oil shale though. Damn it. Alright, we've got a lot, of, a lot of nodes right here. I will prevail. Getting killed by a snake, are you? That can happen. Like if you have no hit points and you're running out of a building and it's just there and it kills you. Sure. Oh, for fuck's sakes. That's got to be like oil shale. All right, three more. Or five more, but really three areas, so I'm guessing it's probably like all the same over here. 
Yeah. What are you? Ow! Don't really do significant damage for me to worry about him. Alright, three more. Plus some corns and some wheats. I mean, I guess I should try and make different food now that we are able to do it. Come on, be led. How many of these have we tried now? Like, honestly, how many of these have we gone through? Wait. Iron. I'm gonna grab the iron. I don't know what to do. I mean, I guess we have to take a... Uh... I hate to say this, but maybe we have to go to the snow biome sooner rather than later. Maybe we need to focus on getting to the snow biome. So, we're fighting a horde tomorrow. Right after tomorrow, maybe we just take off and go to the snow biome. It's too bad I can't fight the horde out here. Because then that would save me that long trip, right? Let's check both of these out. Where are you? Nothing. That's just out of spite. I didn't even ch change weapons to give him the dignity of dying properly. To, to tell it, go back to, to heaven and tell all your friends that some guy with a pickaxe that was pissed off in the desert just smashed your face in with it. Rather than getting, you know, stabbed by some kind of warrior or shot or something like that. I should have just parked my bike on this guy. Do I sound bitter? Oh, there's some more iron. I mean, it can't be that hard to find. Maybe it's the version. Like, I haven't updated the version because I'm worried about, like, losing my game save, right? Now, I know most people, like, almost everybody has said they haven't had a problem, so there shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, you get the pickaxe, too. Fuck you. But I know I found it in the desert before. She's not dead. She is now, though. Well, oh, you want some, too? Get yourself a pickaxe, lady. It does more damage that way. I'm gonna mind this guy. Are you? Good luck with that. Good luck with that. God damn. I know it's out here. Not gonna attack the zombie, but you're gonna attack me, huh? I mean, we are- oh, there it is. Finally! Oh! Fuck you! That's what I get. That's what I get for finally finding lead. Now, hundred bucks. A hundred bucks says a wandering horde shows up, like, right now. Alright, well, we're gonna get two things out of this. We're gonna get sand and lead. Better mark this on the map before I forget. L-E-A-D, and I'm doing it in capital letters because, uh, well, first of all, I hate all caps, but I'm doing it because it's the excitement of me finding it. Okay, well, we got uh, gravel down here. There's the lead. All right, finally. Now, yeah, this is when the horde shows up. 
I'm waiting for my game to chug. Because you know damn well this is what's going to happen. Alright, I heard his turn to gurgle on my drive. Getting super paranoid now. I did find oil shell down there too, so we've got like 5,000. I want to get at least one stack of IR lead. Because we're going to need it to make coil ammo. And I don't see anybody. I think we're okay. Alright, well I think I've had it out here. 4,000 oil shell, which is pretty good. That's like, that's like 40,000 gas. Almost 10,000. Actually, let's grab enough for 10,000. Um... Iron, which should be enough for a while. It's enough for tips, um, which we'll need, and enough for making the um, batteries, coil batteries, which we'll need. That's probably plenty. So we can come back out here another time. So the sun is slowly going down. So let's get back to the house. It'll probably be dark when we get back there. Where's my motorbike? Right over here. Um, so it'll probably be dark when we get back there. But, how much gas do we have left? Ah, not bad. Um, it'll be dark when we get home. But, let's actually make sure we're not going... Let's try and go this way. Yeah. Um, what we'll try and do is get the uh, house sorted around tonight. So we've got those lockable storage cabinets we need to put down because we are, I mean, the storage space is atrocious, right? It's, I know it's terrible. I'm not going the wrong way. There we go. I know it's atrocious. I know it's terrible. Uh, but we'll get that sorted out. Um, we'll have a look at the farm too. Uh, see how that's going. And that's all mountains. Let's go south here. Hopefully we can go around the back of them. I'm not going to go over those. Um, so yeah, uh, we'll get those lockable storage cabinets. I'll figure out what we're going to do. we got to fill in the wall, uh, to our place. Man, I hope I'm not going straight into mountains here. Um, but we got to fill in the wall on the third floor so that, uh, ooh, that actually might be a good sign to take this pathway unless it just ends here. But, uh, yeah, we'll, 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 uh, fill in the wall. Um, even if it's just with frames for now. And then we'll go ahead and figure out what we're doing floor pattern wise. I'm going to get all the storage laid down properly. Hopefully we can get all of our workbenches and stuff laid down. We still haven't put out the lathe yet, but we haven't really needed it. Um, but we will need it for making coil stuff. Um, which reminds me too, we're going to need to make a lot of cans so we can get some oil made because the, the, um, the regular pieces uh, for like a shotgun or a, a rifle or something require one oil per piece you make. But the coil stuff requires five oil per per part. So in order to make, you know, three parts plus a barrel, the barrel doesn't cost anything. It's just, it's just straight up uh, pipes. So that's cheap. But uh, if you were to make, a, let's say, a coil rifle, it's going to be 15 oil plus the steel. I think it's like 35 steel a piece or something like that. So we're going to have to make sure we get all of that um, done and ready to go. Now, my, I passed where I needed to go. Perfect, because we're heading straight east now. So let's have a look where we want to head now. Up this way. So, yeah, so it's going to take a fair bit of oil. So we're going to turn some of the stuff we got into gas. Probably half of the oil shell will get turned into gas for 20,000 gas, which isn't bad. And then the remainder will get probably turned into oil. Um, we'll have to make a lot of cans, but that's fine. We picked up some iron today, so that's good. Uh, we got a lot of stone today, which is also good because we can. Uh, we're gonna need that to make sand. Well, we got some sand. We got a couple thousand, I think. What do we get? Yeah, a couple thousand sand. So we'll turn some of the stone into sand because we got six thousand concrete on the move or cement on the move. We can turn it into six thousand concrete. Um, then I need to decide at that point if we're going to stay where we are housewise. Um, it is laggy, and I get it. Um, but maybe we go, like I said, maybe we go to Bob's Town. 
where it's not so laggy and then on a horde night until we get a new base built we go back to the old one for a while and then we can work on something a little bit more um, dynamic I guess you could say something a little better that we can that's gonna last like further into the horde nights maybe we build something custom outside in a field where I can dig up the ground and go down a couple of blocks and make it all concrete you know um, so that when demos and stuff do blow up they blow up the top layer of concrete it'll there's another layer underneath it right they're not digging through the ground all right where are we here now we want to go this way uh, let's no I want to go right through the mountains again that was the fastest way last time it'll be the fastest way this time I have to say I'm really glad that second quest was so easy um, I've had that second quest before and it ended up being the Batman mansion. I don't know if you've ever seen that uh, Glock's episode, The House on the Hill. On Nava's game, there's this uh, large mansion that's kind of got like a bat cave underneath it where it has this freight elevator underneath this house and it goes all the way down and then there's a big massive cavern and stuff in the basement and it's a pretty cool house. Uh, unfortunately, th that series didn't go very far because I think, I think if I remember correctly, that this Glock save got messed up or something. So he wasn't able to finish it. But the house is kind of cool. It's a pretty big house. So I remember getting that quest once and, and it was sent me to that house. And I'm like, oh shit, this is like a tier four house. And I went there and it's like, I activate the quest and it's like, yes, the uh, <laughs> the uh, package you need to pick up is just in the basement. And I'm like, oh yeah, just in the basement, right down in the fucking loot room. There is a sneaky way you can kind of get in there. But the problem is, like, if you do it in regular seven days to die, it's... Wow! It's not so much of a... Ooh, there's a bag there for me. I'll just park right here for a second and check that out. Um, and regular seven days... To, I don't know why there's all these... Did I kill some zombies here? Or was that just random or what? I don't know. Um, anyways, in regular seven days to die... Um, the fuck was I saying? Oh, yeah, the doors... Um, you can close all the doors. So when you go down, there's like a loot room and it's got this like iron door. Um, and then there's a, like there's an iron door to an antechamber that leads to where all the zombies are. And then I think there's a steel door that leads to where the loot is. And you can put up uh, a frame next to the iron door and use the iron door to, to fight the zombies, right? And then if you have to bat back up, you can go through the steel door, but you can always close it, right? To, to give you some time but in darkness falls oftentimes those doors that are open that you can normally close in seven days to die are locked open so you can't close them so when you go down there right there's no telling what's going to happen that door could be locked to the loot room or it could be locked open to the loot room so you can get into the loot room but the zombies can easily get in and kill you so it's like a really it's a really tricky um prospect now where do we need to go here uh here because i've driven by my home multiple times because I, my bed's still at hughes for some reason <laughs> i guess you know what it is in darkness falls it's i like having my bed i don't like it but i kind of always have my bed not where i am so if i'm living in a different like like for instance we're living in shamway right now right but if um I die I end up going back to Hughes and that's the, just the punishment for dying right because in a normal series if I die it's kind of the end of it I don't I don't it's hard to for me to continue playing unless I'm unless it's just like I'm really enjoying the game I'll keep going like darkness falls I really enjoy so I'd keep going but you need to have some kind of punishment for dying and spawning you know part way across the map if you die is one of those things where it's like you now you want to be extra careful not to die right because if you're if you're always responding yourself then there's no real fear of dying you know what i mean like i come from the old days of video games where it's like you get three lives and then the game is over unless you somehow picked up an extra life in the game right once the three lives are done the game's over so it's, there's none of this, let's continuously respawn. It's like, no, man, you, you're dead. That's it. It's over. I want to fix this before we go home. So I come through here a lot. 
And let's get facing not towards the city. And I always have a hard time seeing where the frig I'm going. Because of these stupid trees. Problem solved. I don't know why it took me so long to do that. But if you guys are old enough, you'll remember, you'll know what I'm talking about. Like the early age, the early um, video game design was always like that, right? It was, you know, the level. There was no real level design per se. It was just game stages, right? All right, let's grab everything out of here. Refuel you. Grab all that. Put the fuel back in. Ooh, look at that! Isn't that that's perfect? Whoa! And of course, I'm welcomed home with a fucking wandering horde, and my backpack is full because me. It's like the wandering horde's like, yeah, we stayed away from you while you were mining lead, but uh, we're not going to do that right now. So, uh, fuck you. And there's nighttime. Is that not? Like, honestly. It's like such a... A me thing. I mean, I'm sure it happens to other people, but it's like... It just feels like, you know... More often than not, that kind of shit just goes on with me. And I'm sure that's not the case. Just sure feels that way. I want to get inside before my infection is too high so I can use an antibiotic and not have to use two. Damn it! I'm hoping that, uh... At least we're getting some use out of the ammo we got today. Or the past couple days, that is. Pull! I gotta make a way to get to my house from here, too. Oh, you fuckers. At least they're not all rads. I wonder if this is the remnant from the horde. Didn't we have a horde when we left? I can't remember now. And it's like, for me, it's only been a few hours ago. Fucking mow the prima donna. I'm kind of glad I chose not to go into the house. It's okay, shotgun's got us covered. Oh, there's a spider. Come on, buddy. Let's get this done. I shot his fucking level. I shot the first guy's leg out from underneath him, and then the second guy took his head clean off. Ooh. Oh. Where's that spider zombie? Whenever I don't hear is like the zombie does that, and then it's like I immediately think that he's trapped under something. Where are you? I think that's it. Did we even turn that on? I don't think we did. I think these are the locals. All quiet. All right, everybody. Well. I'm going to loot these bags. No, I'm not. Uh, I'll come back out and loot these bags tonight. But I'm going to end this episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Tomorrow is Horde, so... That ought to be fun. Let's just drop some stuff in here. Actually, you know what? Let's just go back out. We got the we got the uh, agility. Right here, buddy. Ah, shit! It's 
Barfy McGee. Look at this guy. What the hell? He was fucking breakdancing. I know mean, there's anything wrong with breakdancing. I mean, that was pretty impressive, I gotta say. But probably not the time for it, you know? Alright, well, now nah, I'm gonna clean this mess up. Oh, somebody else coming. Hey, buddy. Come on up. I got something here for you. There you go. Problem solved. You feel better yet? I don't, I think he was just feeling a little underappreciated. I gave him a little bit of appreciation there. It helps people, you know? Like, if you're feeling underappreciated, machete to the head, sometimes we'll just clear that up. Alright, well, that's definitely it. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Yeah.